this goes to my point where I was telling black men in particular, stop arguing with black women who say that they don't want marriage because for a long time, people in these spaces were under the impression that saying that only one out of four black women will ever marry was like a, a dig. It was like an insult to black women. Like if they, if you said that to black women, then they were supposed to get upset. No. And I think I was the first one to introduce this point. I was like, I don't think three out of four black women want to get married. And these women, I mean, they literally proved the point. So here you go. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. I don't want to be married. I don't want to have kids. Please believe her. Please stop trying to convince her otherwise and leave her where she's at. There's already a deficit when it comes to the balance between males and females, especially in the black community, right? So the less women that want to have husbands, that want to be moms, that leaves more space for women that genuinely want those things. That leaves more space for those women to be able to attract quality men into their lives to be able to produce those things. The reality of the fact is not everybody is meant to be a mom. Not everybody is meant to be a wife. Not everybody wants those things. And I think that there are a subsection of women that genuinely do not want any parts of those things. And kudos and salutes to those women. You know, maybe they're focused on other things or maybe their purpose on this planet don't involve, you know, legacy building and trying to have a husband. They don't want it. They just don't want it. Then you have the women that are saying that they don't want to be married or have kids, but in private, they have journals saying all of the things that they want to, you know, in their husband, how they're so sad, you know, they're crying in the mirror when they get home. Girl, please do those things, okay? Please do that because you are leaving so much room for women that really genuinely do want to bring those things into their lives. Don't change it up when it's convenient. Don't change it up when you're in private. Be willing to stand on it. If they don't want to have kids, they don't want to be married, they don't want any of these things, let them have it. Clear the space for everybody else that does. Yeah, if they say they don't want, want marriage, then make sure they stay that way, gentlemen. Because I'll tell you this, and one thing that these women like this don't understand, and I don't know if she fits the narrative of women who don't want to get married, but the women that don't want it, they're still going to be useful to the group on the dating market. They're not going to stop having sex. We know that. And I know women will see this video who say, I don't want marriage, right? I don't want marriage. That means I'm not going to have sex. That's bullshit. Sorry, guys. It's BS. They still going to have sex. So if there's no end goal of marriage and they don't want kids, then guess what, gentlemen? They're useful to the group. Enjoy their company hit that thing and send them off. Make sure they stay single, never married, and don't want kids. Protect yourselves, get your STD checks, tests, and go ahead and have fun with these women that have removed themselves from the marriage market. You good. The, the dating market always needs women like this. So if they're coming to grips with their reality, then make sure they stay that way. So I agree with her. Yeah, useful to the group. Enjoy. A lot on my platforms about why I'm child free and why I'm also anti marriage. But I'm anti marriage for myself. I'm not anti marriage for my friends and family. Um, I just don't see myself ever getting married. One of the another another reason why I don't want to get married is because I am not about to go through the BS that you go through in a divorce. Right, losing assets, having to divide assets. Um, it is my own personal opinion that most marriages are going to end a divorce anyways. Most of them already have, if you really look around. Um, I know plenty of people who are divorced. I know plenty of people who failed at marriage multiple times because they've been married multiple times. So at the end of the day, um, that's just not a risk I'm willing to take, right? And for the same reasons why I don't want to have kids, right? The number one way I can guarantee that I'll never be a single mother or a baby mama or whatever is to not have kids. The narrative in these spaces is that the divorce rate is at 50%, right? You guys have heard this before. The statistic that half marriage and a divorce is a bit of an exaggeration, especially when it comes to first marriages. As of 2024, the American Psychological Association estimates that 41% of first marriages will end in divorce, while Forbes estimates that 43% of first marriages will end in divorce. So let's just say splitting hairs, 42%. However, second and third marriages have a much higher divorce rate with 60% and 73% of third marriages end in divorce. So the, the divorce rate, it's not necessarily 50%. It's close, 43, 42%. Let's just say 42%, 58%. So 58% of 
marriages work. First marriages work. 